Nuclear Chain Reaction The fission of uranium-235 by thermal neutrons goes like this. The three free neutrons produced, which are called secondary neutrons too, may bring about the fission of three more uranium-235 nuclei and produce nine more neutrons which in turn may cause and continue fission with more and more U-235 nuclei. Thus, a continuous reaction is triggered, which is called a chain reaction. When a chain reaction starts, a huge amount of energy is given out in a very short time as a combined effect of each fission reaction. Well, this short time period is as short as a few microseconds. You can easily make out that the number of fission triggered subsequently multiplies very very fast and so does the amount of energy released. If this kind of a chain reaction is allowed to take its natural course, it results into an explosion of energy and is commonly called as an uncontrolled chain reaction. Uncontrolled chain reaction atom bomb da basis banaunda hai. Tujje paase, je rate of release of energy nu control kita ja sake, ta is nu useful kama levi vartya ja sakda hai. To achieve a controlled chain reaction, arrangement is made for the partial absorption of neutrons available during each U-235 fission. The neutrons are absorbed by using cadmium rods which act as control rods. The system in which the nuclear chain reaction may proceed in a controlled manner is called nuclear reactor.